It's the final day of testing Christmas, day 12. And what I have to show you today are one of my favorite things to both give and get as gifts. Books, books. Um, we've talked about all of these books before at different times on the podcast, on different shows, but I'm gonna run through each one and explain what makes it special. This first one is a co-work of J.J. Abrams and a guy named Doug Dorst, who's I think a literature professor. It's called S, it's on Amazon, it's like 20 bucks, and it is an amazing concept. The story is, uh, this book is a work of fiction written by a guy named Stravka. But the story of the story is all told in the margins of the pages and with the stuff that these people have left in this library book that has been checked out and passed back and forth between a couple of people over a really long period of time, probably a year or two, where they're discussing this mysterious author, Stravka, uh, this book, Ship of Theseus, and it's a really weird meta book. There's all sorts of cool stuff inside it, like this is a, just a card with a picture of a monkey on it. I, I don't know what it's for. I haven't gotten that far in the book yet. There's newspaper clippings. There's a code wheel. There's the library stamp stuff in the back. So it's a little bit precious. It's really cool. It's 20 bucks. It's an awesome gift. It's the kind of thing you'll spend probably like six or eight months working on. It is a very slow read, something you enjoy and cherish. Um, the next books, uh, cookbooks are great to give as gifts. It's one of my favorite things. Uh, this is The Perfect Scoop. It's about 20 bucks, it's on Amazon. It's all about ice cream. There are like 60 ice cream recipes in here. I've made 10 of them probably at this point. Every single one has been great. It is my favorite ice cream book and it is my go-to for every kind of ice cream I make except for one, which brings me to the next book. This is the Momofuku Milk Bar Cookbook. It's by Christina Tosi and David Chang. They're both famous chefs in New York. And it is the best dessert cookbook I've ever had. It has all sorts of ridiculous sciency desserts uh, it's where you learn to make cereal milk ice cream, which if you have never had, I highly recommend. It's like cornflakes, but ice cream. Uh, and the cereal milk ice cream recipe is the only one that I make that doesn't come from the perfect scoop. So uh, there's also pies, all sorts of cookies and stuff like that in here. It's a great dessert cookbook. The next cookbook on my list is the Momofuku cookbook. Now, this has been out for a really long time. It's part cookbook and part the story of David Chang starting the first Momofuku and the second Momofuku restaurant and the third restaurant in the Momofuku group. Um, if you're into people who make stuff and want to know more about how restaurant the restaurant industry works and at the same time learn how to make some dope pork buns, this is a great cookbook to buy and it's like 25 bucks. One more cookbook. I like to give cookbooks at Christmas time. This is the Cook's Illustrated Science of Good Cooking cookbook. Um, now, we've talked about science cooking before with the Modern Cuisine guys, and they get into the kind of the high end of it. Uh, this is very much more when your kid is in the kitchen and says, hey, why does meat turn brown when you put it in the skillet? That's all explained here, both on a kind of macro level and then on the very low chemical level. They talk about things like why you use coarse salt when you're salting meat. Uh, the right time to put pepper on meat. Do you put it on before you sear it? Do you put it on after you sear it? Uh, how and why different mechanisms happen in the kitchen. It's very interesting. The recipes are really good. There's, I think, 50 or 60 core concepts in here. I haven't gotten through all of them over the year that I've been using this cookbook, but it did help explain things like why meat dries out if you overcook it and why you want to let stuff rest and all that. If you want to know the whys instead of just the hows. Last on the list is this guy right here. This is Cool Tools. It's by Kevin Kelly. He's one of the founders of Wired, and it's kind of a spiritual successor to the Whole Earth Catalog. Um, if you don't know what the Whole Earth Catalog is, it's a thing from 20 or 30 years ago, uh, and it's kind of like the guide to being a human and or living on this planet. Uh, so the idea is that it's a visual encyclopedia of everything you would need to know about. And Cool Tools fits that bill in, in much the same way. So some of this stuff isn't even available before, but if you open any page, it's incredibly dense. There's super interesting stuff on every single page. And whether you, you can actually go out and buy some of this stuff or not, that's not really the point. The point is getting inspired and figuring out how to do new things. But this is kind of your blueprint. So that's it, that's Testing Christmas. We'll see you guys uh, next year. We're gonna be off next week and updates will be light. So I uh, hope you all have a happy holiday and we'll see you in 2014. Bye.